Good morning, everyone. A uh, little plug for my uh, workshop in Italy. I'm going to Tuscany in April, uh, April 29th. So just go to plenierholidays.com and that will give you all the information. All right, today we're going to do an exercise in these figures on the beach. I like them particularly because they're back, totally back lit, and yet they do have some color to them. So take a good look at that, and this is a great way to, to work this out, okay? All right. All right, we'll start with just putting a wash. I'm just going to put a quick background in there. Uh, I just used some raw sienna to warm up the sky a little bit. Little touch of Viridian Yellow mixed in there for the sand, and you know, and then I mixed up a. This is just Ultramarine with Quinciana. Uh, you can see I'm pushing it towards the Ultramarine, and then I went back and just put that little top on it for the distant trees and distant, distant landscape. All right, I took the same color, I just added some water to it and put the ocean in and a little bit on the sand color. It's going back and picking up. That was still wet, so I didn't want it to run totally. All right, just put that in and a little darker on the same color, a little darker, just putting an edge on the surf. A couple of horizontal streaks where the surf is moving, you know, a little bit of movement in the ocean. And then over here on the sand, uh, you want this to come straight down. This is the reflection of the sky is in the sand here. So you don't want any hard edges. You just want this all coming straight down and then go back with a towel, lift out some reflections. Okay, just keep it simple. Go up and you can do the same thing up in the water. A couple of little uh, horizontal streaks. All right, we'll get the figures in. Uh, here's the first one. Uh, this is a woman with a nice big hat. Look at the gesture. You know, that's the important thing here. I didn't do any drawing with this because we are drawing with the brush. Okay, so I just, you know, just, it's a great exercise to do. You should do many of them. You know, I, I tell my students all the time when you're doing a painting, to, you know, when you finish, turn the painting over and work on the back and just you do four or five figures, you know, and in no time at all, you'll be doing wonderful figures. You know, it's really good. Uh, you can see I put a little drop of red in, a, in the elbows of this person, uh, their, their uh, short sleeve shirt, so, you, so that the uh, arm is showing there, so you want to warm up that color. All right. You can, you can just follow along with me here as I go along with this uh, drawing. Just drawing with the brush. Looking at the figure. A lot of artists don't even put the feet in, you know. You just blur it into the reflection. A lot of carelessness going on out there. All right, so I want to show you that the uh, this is all wet. It's still wet, so I'm going, painting wet on wet here. So what I did was I went back. The figures are ultramarine and quinciana, so they're very dark. And when I when I went back, I put in some cobalt blue. I put a little red in her hat. You can see that. And these nice, uh, very subtle colors because they mix with the black, uh, the dark color that you made. And then uh, they, once they dry, they're very subtle. So it's a, it's a good way to do these back, backlit figures. Okay, so you can see I'm drawing the next one. You need to focus. You know, you really need to focus as you're doing this. And, you know, you, in the beginning, you're going to go slow. But the more you do of these, the more you'll you'll just get that, you know, you get this gesture of the person walking. They're just wonderful to do, and they're a big part of adding so much, you know, from when you add figures to your paintings, landscapes, you know, seascapes, it's, it just adds so much. And you'll sell a lot more. You'll do well with figures. People love to see figures in a painting, so. 
right? This I'm adding a turquoise uh, cobalt blue teal to her jacket, her shirt, whatever she has on. All right, now here's uh, the third, the third man. Okay, here he is. Study it out. The more the the more you do of these, the more obviously they're going. They're just going to be wonderful, and you'll do them. You'll love it. You'll do it all the time. It's it's. But have fun with it. You know, don't take it too seriously. And, you just, you know, anything, you're an artist. You know, the more you do of these, the more you're gonna, you're just gonna get better and better and you pick it up. Okay, so in this one, I'm gonna give him a nice red t-shirt. That looks, you know, it looks too bright, but believe me, once these things, once it settles, it gets very subtle, but there's a nice red, because these figures are all backlit, you know. All right, we'll put a little reflection in, very wet. You can see I'm very wet here. And you pull, you know, once you get it in there, just pull the color right from the figure, and especially up close to the feet there. And, you know, pull that color right down. Suggestion of those arms and, you know, see how I took some color from the figure and added it to the reflection, okay? There it is, so there's the finished painting. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it, and I will see you again very soon.